So, Congressman Buck, talk to me about what has frustrated you so much about this era of, of, of politics, and this, and particularly Congress. What's made it so difficult? You really need me to say that. <laughs> you do need me well, to explain what's so difficult about this place. I was, uh, as you see, the number three in the seniority on that committee, and I ask questions like this. And you need me to explain what, what is so complicated about that, or how we try to impeach somebody for a difference in policy. We've taken impeachment and we've made it a, a social media issue as opposed to a, a constitutional concept. Um, th th this place just keeps going down here, and, and I don't need to spend my time here. But do doesn't it hurt something if someone like you leaves? Doesn't that make it more difficult for those changes to come about? Don't you? <laughs> I'm not interested in what I'll be right here. Have you had a chance to connect with the speaker? You said earlier you left him a voicemail, but have you had a chance to talk to him? I have not. I have been in committee trying to ask questions. Um, I will probably talk to him on the floor. Do you think that he is on the horizon to work? Oh, sorry. I just wonder, what's your message to the CD4 members who thought you were going to be finishing out your term? Yeah, my, my message is that um, uh, I am going to do my very best in this next week. Uh, we are going to have a vacancy election. They'll have somebody. In other words, I, I'm leaving before one of the breaks to minimize that time frame. They'll have a chance to fill my seat. And, and I think that, uh, that whoever fills that seat, both for the next Congress as well as the remainder of this Congress, will do it. Why not wait to have something for Ukraine passed before you leave? Some capacity. I don't know that there will be a chance to pass the I think it's very important to recognize uh, what happened with uh, Vladimir Putin. It was a fight. He attacked Ukraine. Uh, he has uh, invaded uh, an ally of ours. Uh, we should do everything we can to help the people of Ukraine protect themselves from, from this invasion. Do you think that you'll... Do you think that you'll... Do you think that you'll... But if you if you see any openings, let me know. Do you do you think that President Trump's contributed to what you see as dysfunction, not only in Congress but in politics in general? I, I don't want to put this at President Trump's feet. I, I think that um, I have witnessed this for a while, and, and I think that we are, are seeing a breakdown of civility and a breakdown of uh, really priorities in terms of what the American people want. Well, you had a you question? Say, yeah, I mean, why not wait to talk to leadership before making this? Yeah, because as soon as I talk to leadership, it's leaked, and I wanted to do it on my own terms. There's so many damn reporters in this place <laughs> that are willing to take this story without letting me um, tell people why. I mean, but I feel a little caught off guard, though. I mean, they say they're totally surprised. But they were not. They were not. I, I, I left a message for Mike Johnson a half hour before I announced, and I have talked to other members of leadership about this, so they were not uh, taken off guard. And, and frankly, I'm not leaving for a week, so they have a week to prepare, um, and they have a, actually a, a, uh, a retreat. It's kind of funny that Republicans are talking about a retreat since we keep spending more money. I think we've been retreating for a while, but they have a retreat coming up at the end of this week. So. Who else in leadership did you I'm, I'm not going to go You said earlier when I pressed you on, you know, if Johnson could talk you out of this decision, you said not as well as he's talked you into some votes. What did you mean by that? Uh, I, I voted against the impeachment of my orders, and I have made it plain and simple that I don't think that the impeachment of Biden is, is appropriate. And so, um, Mike Johnson's ability to talk him into staying here is going to be about as successful as his ability to talk him into unconstitutional impeachments. Thank you, Congressman.